Okay, so what we've got here is um, a simple, we have our stores, so we have Toronto, London, Mississauga, Calgary, we have our employees, and each of them has a store associated to them. Um, you'll note that London doesn't actually have anybody assigned to it, but it's there. And so when we go into the entries, what we can do is we can pick a store, we'll say Toronto, and then the names that show up are just the people in Toronto. And if we go back and change it to Calgary, the name changes to just those in Calgary. And I think it was London had nobody, so and it fills up nobody. So how we're actually doing this is um, if you start with the stores, we actually have uh, just basic store information. Um, so store name, store number. Um, the employees, they actually have a ref table back to the store. So whenever you go to add a new, um, if you go to add a new employee, um, it's going to give you a list of those stores, and that's pulling directly from the stores table. So then finally, inside entries, we actually have two ref tables. So uh, when we go to actually make an entry, there is um, oops, um, uh, a store, and that's pulling directly from the stores table. And then if I were to put nothing in there, it puts up nothing because I don't have a store selected. Um, so that ref, the name is actually the reference back to the employees table. And so inside here, what we had to do was actually set up a data validity using a filter. So what we're doing is we're saying, okay, so in order to do this, we're gonna run a filter on the employees table, which is where we're pulling information from. We want the store of the employees table to match this row. This is a key one that you'll see come up a lot. So this row dot store. Um, so if you're looking at entries, there's an entry here called store. So that's where that's coming from.